It is well. Oh, poor masses. No voice for you. No voice, oh. <laughs> no voice for the poor masses. No voice for the poor masses. No voice for the poor masses. The first thing the principal was able to do after she begged me not to take this matter up that the school will pay every hospital bill that for the sake of who is involved I should not take the matter up and I refused I went on live yesterday the principal has removed me I don't know if you can see see it check you will see removed I was removed from the group I was removed from the group my money is still running you know my money is still running my okay let me show you all here is it i have been removed have you seen they removed you because i did not keep quiet they treat him and keep quiet they have removed me now they posted this let me read um dear esteemed parents as management um, of deeper life high school uyo campus didn't I start from the beginning? Let me read. Let, let people know that in this country, <laughs> the only person that will speak for you is God. That's why in a thing like this, when you can't fight, you send God to use fire and destroy everything. As long as you are on the path of truth, you send fire to destroy everything. Most things fire destroys are people's cry and plead to God. Now, let me read what. The school principal has written. This will go a long way to tell you that there is more to this. Now here is it. It says, I am the um, Ndidi. Ndidi Solomon, principal, Deeper Life High School, Roads. Deeper Life High School, Idoro Road, Uyo, owned by Kumuyi, Pastor Kumuyi. Roads. The attention of the management of Deeper Life High School, Uyo Campus, has been drawn to a video posted on Facebook. By Deborah Okezie, we sincere, we sincerely, great a big people go the far. Read this thing. Read, read, let read. Let them hear. Please read. Kapak, let's pack. Read, read, read so that I don't add. Read, read. Let 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 Nigerians hear exactly what they wrote and removed me. No, if, there's no way you can screenshot it. You cannot enter because this is a live broadcast. No, they cannot read either. Let me be reading my small, small own way. No, no, there's no way you, if you post, this cannot enter a live broadcast. But she said, the attention of the management of Deeper Life High School, Uyo Campus, has been drawn um, to, has been drawn to the video posted on Facebook by Deborah Okezie. We are sincerely grateful to all of you who have since then been calling. We cannot forget those who draw our attention into this life. Now, let me clear something. I sent her the video. I sent her the video of my Facebook live on WhatsApp. So, who are the those? Let me continue. Dear esteemed parents, as management of Deeper Life High School, Uyo Campus, we want to categorically state that the content of this video are lies. That means she needs to prove the lies. Good. I know be lawyer. We plead with you as parents to kindly interact with your children about the school and their operations. Ask them to tell you about the student known as Don Davis. Oh, that means the whole student known Don Davis story. No problem. Having this direct testimony from your children will justify our stand. We believe your children would not lie about the services given to them. God will surely vindic vindicate us from these lies and blackmail. We will, we will still keep you posted on this. God bless you richly. You see, mm -hmm. the issue is this. The issue is this. Thank you, sir. The issue is this, my people. Now they have posted this. I will copy what I sent to her on WhatsApp and sent. After doing the live yesterday, I copied it and posted to her. Now she came and said, for those who have drawn their attention 
to the video that they are thanking them. I personally copied it and pasted to her. So who drew your attention to it? I am not, I will not be surprised if parents who are owing school fee will wake up and support them. But I would look at that parents who would be like Solomon and say, divide this child into two. And the owner of the child said, don't divide. Give it to her. When the child grow up, we will know who born her. So I will not join force with those who will say, divide, divide, divide. In their heart, they know it's truth. They know what this person has said is truth. Would I, are you, wait a minute. People are just too stupid. Too, too stupid. Sorry to say this on, 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 on a national broadcast. How can you say somebody is lying when a child is talking? You see? If I had not done video yesterday, they go say, where is the proof? Madam, where is the proof? You should have, you should have a proof. You should have a proof. You don't have proof. This morning they have come here to beg me. And I told her I've posted something on your timeline. Meaning there's no private begging. She now went and wrote that and removed me. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, he would reap. Sometimes when you see a place catch fire and burn into ashes, God is angry. You wake up to say it's a lie. It's a lie. This is a blackmail. When you have called me this morning to ask me to withdraw everything that you will take care, you don't want to own up to truth. What are you preaching? Can this salvation only a preach? You don't want to own up to a truth that say, oh, we are a republic. I, 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 Thank you. This will draw our attention to making the school a better place. You are looking for a way to cover it, meaning it to continue. For every parent that will see truth, standing truth like this, and go and be supporting evil, may evil not cease in your homes. May evil not cease in your homes. If you like being in the government, if you like be next to God, if you can cover this whole thing and make it die down, I would live and see you cry over your own. Because if you point one finger to somebody, the rest is coming back to you. Okay, please, I don't know if Anne is here. Can you help me copy the, 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 this thing? I have sent it to you. Can you help me copy the, uh, what is it called? The message. I have forwarded it to you. Copy it and post on this live so that people can go and read. Where is my anki? Thank you. Copy it and post to this live. I left my, my, my son in the hospital yesterday. I went home to sleep because my two babies are at home. They are small. I cannot leave them to nanny all through the night. My nanny went to the hospital to sleep with Don Davis while I went home to sleep with the little ones. I'm just going to the hospital now and my nanny said they have come to give him injection that he has finished two drip is on the third one. What is lies? So the lie there is that I'll just bond to a healthy boy and go and keep him in the hospital to be taking treatment. What do I stand to gain? What do I stand to gain? Destroying somebody. No, wait a minute. What do I stand to gain? What would I gain to destroy a school as big as that? What would I gain? What would I gain, for God's sake? What would I gain? My father in the law said the other day, he said, even if God do not do more to the one he has done, that he has done enough. And I, Deborah, Adako, Archibong, is saying today that even if God does not do more miracle, he has done enough for me. Throughout January to date, I have never lacked food. Throughout January to date, I have never begged for a grain of rice. Throughout January to date, I have never, I have never, never begged bread. Has God not been faithful? So why would I wake up? Maybe do we buy him some snacks or we should go with what we have? So do, do, why would I wake up and want to blackmail a school? 
what do I start to gain? First of all, I'm an Igbo. I'm not even married to a Yoruba that we will say, oh, now nah, because now nah, Yoruba, maybe now nah, nah, in Kindred that I won't collect money from. Why would I wake up and want to blackmail a school? What if at the end of the day it's not blackmail? What would they pay me? At the end of the day, if the whole thing come out is not blackmail, oh God, I God I celebrate you because it's not by power, neither is it by mind, but it's by your spirit, said the Lord. Because if not that God gave me that 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 strength and boldness to do that video yesterday, I would have just been talking and people would be saying, She doesn't have fat. Call her Joko, she should go and sit down. She doesn't have fat, Jare. She has no fat. If not that I have done the first previous video, which I copied to them, oh. I am the one that copied it, not parents. Now look at the principal who carry Bible 24-7 and uh, go, go, goes on air to, to, to write and say, it's a black male. Thank you for those who sent it. I sent it to her. I will, I will scream, shut it and post. I sent her the, vi the video clip I did yesterday. Now, now, now look at what you're painting. Instead of you to be saying, oh, you, 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 you are coming out to take it, to, to defend. You want to defend your own. You want to defend your own. You want to defend your own, madam, a mother. Is it not better you lose your job on truth? than to hold on to a job that your conscience will live with you knowing that a child was molested and you know it now you're looking for a way to cover up yes i know it can be covered nothing nothing cannot be covered but you see these tears every one of you will pay for it as i said to Mordecai, do not think that the world will not get to you when it starts if you cover it and you're able to win it, these tears will fight someday. These tears will fight someday. You can win it based on manpower. But there's a God who sits in heaven. He will fight someday. The other time I, I, I watch a video, they say a school caught fire. One principal, we we're dressed like him. Um, like Queen of like um, Mary Mandaline, I mean Jesus died. Question things when they happen. Mm -hmm. If you because of I don't have a voice, I am not in the government, I don't have a this, nobody can fight for me and silence it. These tears will speak. Mm -hmm. My money will speak. Except the money is gotten via Yahoo Yahoo. As long as his forehead sweats, it will speak. Speak. If you like, cook up story and send to me so that the uh, uh, court will ask, uh, Madam, this thing she's writing, is it true? Even if you win in court, God will speak. One day, truth will speak. God will speak. You can only win now. But time will come, you will not be able to, you will live with it for the rest of your life. Nidhi Solomon, I sent you the video clip. No parents did. But you copied it and went and wrote. For parents who said, I sent it to you. You are a woman of God. Now that there's God not a call. For once in your life, stand up for truth. You called me this morning. The other man called me and told people that I have taken it up. You went and wrote this. I sent you the clip. You did not send me the clip. I sent you the clip. No parents sent it to you. I sent you the video clip. What are you writing? Now you are trying to implicate me via text message. Eh, we say you should bring him multivitamin. You did not bring him multivitamin. That's why. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where is your conscience? Where is your conscience? You are not sending me a message on WhatsApp. We asked for, we asked you to bring multivitamin because of drugs. You did not bring multivitamin. What, uh, so this happened. Is that, he couldn't eat. What are you doing? So you are preparing yourself for court. I am backed up in Jesus. Watch what will happen. Watch what will happen 
if you succeed in doing it this way, I will tell you that I still serve a God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. It's not about who owns a church. It's not about that. I will tell you that I still serve a God who does not sleep. I still serve a God who fights a battle nobody can fight. That Deborah wisdom that he took him to war and bring him back will take me through this war and I will come out with my head standing. That means you can send me higher as I say. You're asking for my address. If I give you my address, you silence me over truth. If I give you my address, you will come and silence me over facts. I don't have as much as you and Kumu you have, but the little I have, I'm okay with it. If it's too bad, I can beg. You can dash me, but I will not steal. Now you are trying to silence me because you felt one big man is involved. Is, he, is Kumu bigger than God? I saw the God who sits in the heavenlies and make the earth his footstool. Can, can Kumu he sit in the heavenlies and make the earth his footstool? No. So therefore, you cannot kindle me. Even if you win it in court, I give you months, God will fight. Listen, you see water, let me buy. Yes, let me buy water. God will fight. I'm going to the hospital now to take over from my nanny. But what is the black man that is not in the hospital? What is the black man that is not taking treatment? What is the black man that the way he look is okay? Did he make your children look like that unto old age in the name of Jesus? Amen and amen. If the black man is as what the name is look like, he's good. The name is working like this. He has to expand his legs to walk. He's a black male. Let it be unto you according to how you fix it. The songwriter says, O men man na maya now, O men John and Joya now, Ibu Amagi Beji, Nkonye Metere Oburuo. You do good, you go with good. You do bad, you go with bad. Even if you go to the law court, are you able to write big, big English and win? Your conscience goes with you. You who send an innocent man to prison, your conscience lives with you. That's the truth. You send an innocent man to prison, your conscience lives with you. Your conscience lives with you. You can only succeed in, in making everything nonsense, ploy politics on them, but you cannot succeed in taking away one fact, truth. You can't succeed in taking away one fact, which is the truth. You cannot succeed in taking away the truth. Scripture says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Because you are about to lie and you are calling this a black man, truth will be far from you. Truth will be far from deeper life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I paid you. My money has not expired. You removed me from the group. Tell Nigeria why you removed me. Won't you allow my money to expire? Or are you giving me a refund? I know people will say, don't worry about her. It's just a social media. Under this, it will die down. Yes, it will die down. But you will never go unpunished. You will never go unpunished. It will die down, I know. We live in a country where it will die down. I know you will call bloggers and pay them. Don't carry this. For those of who will collect, so no problem. Let it die down, but you will live to see it. What are the black males? Didn't I come to school? On, your com on the day you are doing combined service, you said the protocol does not allow me to bring, or allow you to bring him out because you know what it looks like. You talk to me as a mother, that should allow him to finish exam, that they will return him to GSS one class. Useless principal. Why would you take a GSS one, a new student, to a, to, to a senior student because he wins. Didn't I tell you that he wins? Didn't I tell you that he wins? Didn't I bring market back marking touch? You said the whole bird has marking touch. Didn't I tell you that he wins in bed on bed? Didn't I inform you that he wins on bed? I informed you. You said I should know when other students wins. 
Now because his own will is too much, you took him to where he for one week he did not bet. You had it the day I came to school. He said, Hey, Jesus, first principal, what is happening here? First principal, I can't believe this. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe this. But you are in the school, you live in the premises, you can't believe it. You will never believe it till you die. In a one week, you know what? Cover it up. I will give you another 21 days, you will see what will happen. Let's lock, cover it, let everything cover it. But you will see the God I serve. I don't have anybody to fight for me, but I have a God who is bigger than man. Please, you have bottle water. What, bottle water? Yes. Yeah, ever. Anyway. This one, uh, um, is that seaway? No, last thing. How much is it? No, one, one. one okay, let me have four. four. Abi, mm. let me drop the two quarters. To, this guy was able to buy pure water. Let me buy some more. Let me know how long he's staying in the hospital. I know if I'll come back and buy it. Make it five. Let's just buy this one. I don't know. Ma? None of them is, not even one. Okay, give me one, but give me this one four then. Uh, thank you. Give me the one that is not cold. There's no need for him to drink cold water, but let me just take Okay, somebody is saying that there's need for for this to go to police station. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's drop food for him and get to police station. Yeah. So that this thing can be entered. Mm -hmm. You see the way things are going? Yeah. I'm this is the country we live in. We don't back. have a voice. Mm -hmm. Can this be America? Immediately, see CB, I mean, CNN, don't carry him. The parents will feel like he's recognized. This one, you're going to need to go knock it up before they go here. There's no need. Anyway, those who can... Who saw the first video will know that there's nothing like cook up here. Like I said, God has been faithful. Throughout the COVID, God has been faithful. Thank you, sir. I just bought some water. Yes, he wants to bring change. If we now know how many days more he's staying, we can buy more water. Can you imagine? Thank you so much, change. We can buy more water. Can you imagine, my people? Can you imagine that is a black male? You see the boy how he look. Then I will not put in his mouth to black male. What am I raising? You got him? If I teach him to black male, Kumuhi, whom I don't know and I don't think I will know till I, I, I leave the planet of this earth. If I put in his mouth to black male such a man, what do I stand to gain? Would you eat a, would you eat a wrong money? It's not as if I've even laid any claim yet. They are calling it a blackmail. When somebody is blackmailing, he's collecting something from you. Did I name a price? Now that you are holding my money and you're talking of blackmail. We are in the hospital now. We are entering the hospital now. Even the doctor wants to call journalists. What would they work with? Watch now, they will say since it's not a government hospital, that the, that the report will not be recognized. Look at this big hospital, people. Let me let me turn the camera. Do you think that this big hospital, this kind of a man is hungry? Now the boy go come give him money, we go make him blackmail. Look at the big hospital, he has his own ambulance. Look at the big hospital premises. Look at the hospital premises, people. He looks like abroad. Look at here. Look at the hospital premises. Do you think the boy have money to black to bribe this man to blackmail the palace? Look at it. The next thing they will say now is, ah, because of, say, na na private hospital, why didn't you take him to, watch how they will play around this. No, that is only God you have. See it, look at the hospital premises. See it be like abroad, look at it. Look at the hospital premises. The man has ambulance, not one, not two. Would I come and not teach such a man how to um, lie? I will not come and dash him money. I said, please, so take this money, yo. Lie, lie, yo. Lie to them that, um, not, uh, just fish my son on drip. Fish him on drip, you hear? Lie. Look at the hospital. My papa said, if nothing bring money, we will go bribe this man. They will turn it now and say, both doctor, 
is blackmailing them. But one fact is this, those who know the truth, know the truth. They will tell it. They will say it's a blackmail. It's a lie. She's trying to get money from the school. I, I said something here and I'll say it again. This year, God has been faithful. Those who know me, if I eat small, I give small to my fellow poor people. I eat small, I give on Facebook. Oh, 2,000, 1,000, 3,000. I was one of those who gave during COVID 19 uh, crisis pandemic. I was one of those who gave one or two women rice. If it's one bag I have, at least I share with four or five persons. So if I say God has been faithful, God has been faithful. Why would I come now to blackmail in school? How would you eat such a money and be happy? You eat it and talk to cancer patients or you talk to one thing, one thing because you have eaten wrongly. I have not even laid a claim. I'm just laying complaint. Now they have, tagged, they have tagged blackmail. I think they need to tell me what I blackmail them with. Let me drink water, please. My voice is gone. Since yesterday, I have not really closed my eyes. I don't think I'm supposed to drink cold water, sir. I gathered, we gathered money. During the pandemic, you don't know whether we borrow it. You don't know how we get it. It's not as if it's rosy. But somehow, let's, let's give somebody a good life. And the good life turned this way. And somebody opened the mouth. He used the eating pepper and salt and say, it's blackmail. What am I blackmailing you for? Did I come up yesterday and say, oh, yeah, you people should give me 100. Did I mention money in my video yesterday? I was mentioning what was happening. What did I blackmail you with, Ndidi? Tell Nigeria what I blackmail you with. Tell Nigerians what I really blackmail you with. I am a mother who will fight for her own to the end. Even if I fight, I didn't fight finish. At least I'm not a coward. I've been able to talk and confront Kumui. If I know his office, I will walk in boldly. But I know I will not be able to see him. That's why I'm reaching him through this way. Even if you, you're asking me, Madam, please, give me your address. We, we want to come. Give me your address. You're not asking to go and see him in the hospital. You want to come to the house. So that in the night, you will turn and come and kill me. Even if you end up copying my plate numbers and shoot me, I die. I didn't die a coward. I didn't die a coward. I died saying what I saw. And someday, you will live to tell one person she was telling the truth. But we could not open up. You will tell someday. It might be in my absence or in my presence. But I will not live as a coward and die as a coward. You are writing that I'm blackmailing you. Look at my son. Thank you. The boss picture has said everything. Did I, did, 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 did I put a um, get a gun in his bomb bomb and draw all his blood for him to look like that? Idiots like you. A child has been like that, you never contacted their parents. Fresh, do you know I told this woman that I'm relocating? I'm relocating out of Nigeria. How do I go about on Davis School? This, this mother told me that he should remain there. That whenever he's on holiday, they will put him on flight to come. You could imagine what would have happened. And somebody said God's name will not be praised. And somebody will wake up and tell me that, my God, I, I, I don't have a living God. Do you know the God I serve? I serve the God who sits in the heavens, put his leg here on earth. Can your pastor sit in heaven and put his leg on earth? You, 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 you are covering a male mortal body. A man that will die the same way I will die. Would they bury him on sky? Would he die and disappear? He would die and be buried six feet. Just like I would die and be buried six feet. Okay, ma, I will hide the hospital. I will hide the hospital, you are right, so. Before they, 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 they go and hip lie on the man. 
They will go and hit lie on the man now and say that um, uh, he, he was carrying drugs just to close this case. That's why when you see them, their children enter plane, three, four, die as they go. Don't be fast to cry. Ask the question, what led to it? Because God is not wicked. He came to die for all of us. He died for, for us that we might live. He gave his life for us to be fulfilled. Jesus died on the cross for me and you to live. He died that we will have the best of the best. He died to save the world. He did not die for the world to perish. So when you see them, their house just caught fire for no reason. Ask a question, what happened? Not to say, oh God, why did you allow this? What a man of God. Hold on, ask questions. The other time in school, burn blast or burn a skin explosion. You know, explode in another place. He explodes. Kill principal, kill everybody. Only God knows what led to it. The tears of one person is important to God. If you, unless you forget, principal and Didi, Solomon and Pastor Kumi, Jesus died for me. He came to die for a poor person, a sinner like me. I know you are righteous. Me, I'm a sinner. He died for me. And in this matter, he will show himself strong. Paint it any I want to paint it. Gather out the whole children. Pay their parents money. Let them come and speak. But Jesus will speak for me. If you can put Jonah in the belly of a fish, you are too small. All of you are small. I don't know where human rights office is here. And today is weekend. This whole thing is happening weekend. If it was to be weekday, I would have gone to human rights. I don't know where human rights office is. I would have gone. You see, my joy is that I did a video yesterday and I sent them the clip. Now she has gone to write and thanking parents. Are you seeing, are you seeing the policies in this thing? I sent the video via WhatsApp. Let me quickly do a screenshot. Uh, no, the video I sent to her. Eh? No, no, even if she blocked me, it will be there. After everything, I will do a screenshot and send on this page. Go and watch it. I sent her the video of yesterday that the battle line is drawn. Now she's thanking the management and staff, parents, for calling them, for showing what, 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 what I, look, look at, oh God, look at, look at what the life we live in. No place for the voiceless ones, so. No place. If I want deputy, I want one senator picking, this will happen to now. When I go not see police and army go, they fly everywhere. But after somebody like me, why not go be like this? Even if they use big English cover up, truth is standing. If you like men, I go do at work, put up everything, put word on them is they use stick, they wound themselves. Truth is standing. Gone are the days where you brainwash people this much. Because I know what people like this can do. I know of a woman whose daughter was molested in school. When she took it up, the next thing she saw was an at work. They went and do something. They show where the girl used stick. I was wounded, uh, put inside her, her vagina. That was not what happened. No wonder the book writer said, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by what you see. Try to look into the contents of the book. You could see more than what is the, what is on the capture. I saw that video. The, 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 it, was, it, it was bottle. And the girl was holding the bottle screaming. But that was what, not what happened. What happened was that she was molested. That video of the girl fixing bottle into her hand cover the truth. See, today it died out. But months after, the same school exploded in Lagos. And they said, hey, the woman said, I will go and call God. Did she call God? Didn't God hear? If you die this one, I call God. You became, you will not be able to talk. I call God for you. Call human being, I will call God. Something that the doctor saw, go and watch the video. The doctor opened his anus and say immediately you should go on admission. It's a lie. What they will be thinking now is that how to burn down the hospital so that the report will not come. You see, with people we have, are you seeing them? Are you seeing them? Are you seeing, are you seeing them? Those are, those are those representing Christ for us. Those are them. Look at them. Look at. Look at what the principal is writing. Right, right, it as if a, a neutral parent sent it to, to her. 
Eh? I sent her the video yesterday. I was one that sent her the video saying that, look at, I've done a video on this. She now went to the school timeline to write. Parents, thank you for the video. You said, I sent her the video. Thank God I have the evidence. Nobody sent her. I sent her the video. Shortly this morning, please, did you record the voice when that man called? No. Oh my God. No, no, no. You should have recorded the voice. No. He wasn't here. He was like, the other phone, he would have recorded it. No, because they called, they were begging, they want to come to the house. I said, why, why are you after my address? Why not go to the office where he is? They want to come and know the house, so that by night, all of them will come and kindle me. They will kill me. For, for one thing, though, so that they, they, people will keep paying money for their school to be going up. Yes, I'm recording them. I'm recording them. I'm recording them. Why would I wake up to blackmail a school? No, if I blackmail the school, am I doing good for myself? Even if I blackmail the school, school pay me. I have dug a grave for my children. No, tell me one thing Kumuyi has done to my lineage that will make me blackmail them. We are Ibozo. We are not Yoruba. We only watch him on TV and hear him preach those days. When we were small, my mother used to take us for their convention. We sit there as children to hear that come you preach. So why would I wake up today to come and blackmail him? Is it for me to get his inheritance or what? Okay, man. You don't know the hospital. Because these people are up to... Imagine calling me this morning. I said, Madam, I'll send something on your WhatsApp. With the video I did yesterday, I've sent it on your WhatsApp. So that you know that I'm not playing about this. Did she now went and wrote that on there. Be... Naturally, I won't, have, I won't have come on live yesterday. My husband wrote, to, uh, wrote and sent a memo to the school. He went back to check. It has, it has been deleted. That was what pushed me to come on live broadcast. If I had not come on live broadcast that I picked that boy up, by now, I'll be dancing around the truth. Oh! I'll be dancing around the truth. I won't be able to... In fact, nobody will know. People will be saying, oh, you should have videoed him. You should have done this. Now you're just talking. But I give God praise. I have the first video. And I, I don't, if, if, for philosophers here, you, you look at me, I, I, don't, I won't bring myself to come and tell myself, I'm picking you, know, as I'm picking you from school now, you're going to help us to make money, you're going to say that, that, um, that this, when I open your body, I draw out all the blood, make him look like a skeleton. I will draw out all the blood, make him look like a skeleton. The boy by himself yesterday said here that, they said that, what do they call that lunch? Lunch, midday, midday meal. Parents didn't pay for it. That they told them, parents that they said they should go and ask, ask your children if that's what they said. If you like, join them and, and be lying. You know the truth. You know I'm, I'm not saying the truth. I, sorry, you know I'm saying the truth. You know the truth. He will never go to boarding school again. He will go to the school and he come back will be seen every day. So that we can be directly correcting his wrongs and his rights. Not to send him to where he will go, come back and not talk. Don Davis, we used to tell him in the house, you do what? You talk too much. You talk too much. Boys don't talk too much. Boys don't talk too much. He wants to say everything he come in contact with. He talks too much. Sometimes when I want to make some call, I look around. If I make some call in my house. One day I was telling my husband, I said, yeah, now what this social person did to me, I don't like it though. In fact, she's a bad woman. As soon as the woman entered my shop, my son told him, my mommy said you're a bad woman. No. My mommy told my daddy that you're a very bad woman. 
The woman said, You see, Debbie, I said, Yes, I said so. And I realized that they, they are not children. She's not, it's not one of the children you put in, in, in your house and do some kind of things with. Sorry to say this. One time like that, I had a little issue with my husband. I, I made indomie for them to eat. After eating, I washed off the pot. I sat as if I've not eaten. When my husband came back, I said, ah, Have you people eaten? I said, We have not eaten. Some baby say, Mommy, now. We just finish indomie now, now, now. So it's not a child that hides. He said it there, say, oh, mommy, why are you telling daddy we have not eaten? You do it that just finish indomie now, 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 you say we should wash the pot. Daddy, we have eaten indomie, John. He's that naive. He talks like that. He now became somebody who went to school. When, when, you, when you talk to him, he's looking. He can't talk. The only thing he will tell them, oh, mommy, please, if I talk, they, they will kill me. God will punish him, Didi. Daddy, I went to school. You told me you will punish Allah. You told me you will spell Allah and Shalom. Now you're coming here to talk something else because you don't want to lose their school fee. But tomorrow they will bring God and point on your head that you, you raised me, you could not correct my wrongs. You told me that you will punish them, you will send letters to their parents. So you only said that for me to go. You only said that for me to go. The nonsense continues. You only said that for me to go. The nonsense continues. My son that talks like parrot. Now because of the who will tell me, Mommy, don't worry. When I come back, I will tell you. Mommy, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm fine. I ask him. I will call you on phone. You'll be talking. Why don't you let me know? He said, Mommy, the, the teacher, the, our headmaster, uh, housemaster will be there. Housemaster will be telling us, laugh. Talk well with your parents. They police them to talk. So those parents who are going to come and talk how nice the school is, well, I, I, I won't blame you. Perhaps you are owing the school money so that next time they will come, you pay. But it would have been better you say the truth and come out. Let God help me and you. That to see truth, you are not there and come and speak lies. Did you go and do life now? Do life and, and tell the school, uh, Nigerians, where I'm blackmailing you from. You say I'm blackmailing you. How much have I demanded for you? Rather, you blackmailed me. You forwarded me and took my money. Education you didn't give. You gave me a broken news. You blackmailed me in return. Not, I didn't blackmail you. You don't know the English you're writing. You go on live. You are here. You are watching me. Go on live brokers. Go and tell Nigerians. This is where she lied. Where she came. This is it. The boy has been like that. The boy was a gay. Go and tell Nigerians that I blackmail you. Is it, is it, is it only to, to, to tie scarf, not wear your ring? Life is gone beyond that. Stand up for truth, no matter your looks. Stand up for whom you are. Even if you are not recognized now, you'll be recognized someday. Somebody will make reference and say, that is her. My, if, ask my, my, my people. They don't call me for family meeting. They don't call me. They only give me brief. When they do family meeting in my house, they only call me at the borough. We have decided that we will buy Pamoy. I say, eh. Hey. Because if you call me in, I'll tell you we don't need that Pamoy. We don't need an, an elaborate barrier for somebody who, this COVID. People are going slow. Others will not talk. And one person who will tell you, I don't have money for elaborate barrier for an old parent. Let's do it this way. So they don't call me for meeting. So it's not now I want to come and learn blackmail. Blackmail you for what? Blackmail you for what? For how much? For what? Thank God you have brought black men up. I said that God will pick up somebody to fight for me. Yeah. God will pick up somebody to fight for me. Look at him throwing up. Look at him. Look at the camera. Please let me see that video again. Eh? You say I'm blackmailing you. Look at when I pick him up from school. Let, let me go back. That's my son that I picked from Deeper Life High School. Look at him, my people. That's my son that I picked from Deeper Life High School. He has been sick. Look, Look at, at him. Look you at couldn't him. get back to the parents. The and you open your dirty stinking mouth to say they are brainwashing you. See him. For meeting inside his clothes. Look at the boy I picked from Deeper Life High School. I took a healthy boy to school. He came back and said that. Yeah. He will go to his money. He has not eaten. See him. That's the boy I picked from Deeper Life High School. He's still in his school uniform. See the vehicle moving. You are living. Look at the camera. See him. I'll send a picture of him to, to the whole world when he went, went to school. 
Just in two months, look at him, look at him, a human being. My son is God, look at the boy I took to boarding school. Nigerians, look at the boy I took to boarding school. Let, watch again, watch it again. That's my son I picked from Keeper Life High School. You can see that I'm not giving him anything. He only demanded for pure water. I said it in my previous video. He been molested. Look at him. Look at him throwing up. Look at the boy I picked from Keeper Life High School. I took a healthy boy to school. He came back and said that. He will go to his money. He has not eaten. See him. That's the boy I picked from Deeper Life High School throwing up. Losing everything in him. See him losing it. Look at the camera. See him. I will send the picture. Of I him. will post it to the picture. Please let me screenshot his picture. picture. Just in two months. Let me screenshot it here. Pull out the and screenshot the Let me put put a picture up. Pull out his picture. Let them, let them see her. A mother. What are, what are you supporting? A mother. What are you supporting? My friends know me. The way I treat my child is the way I treat your child when you leave him, him, for, him or her for me. They know me. In your presence, I will tell your child, stop that. You do it again, I spank you in your presence. Because every child is your child. If you're a mother, every child is your child. Look at her. Look at him. Look at her. That's the, the, the principal. Look at her. No, no, be not to wear your ring and be very wicked. Scream shot if you can. Look at Didi. Look at the principal that wrote this morning that um, that that um, that is a black male. This is the school premises. Look at who I'm blackmailing. I've just reported to the Commissioner of Information every step now. You have reported to him? Report to everybody you can. Let Nigeria stand up for me. Look at her. No earring, but wickedness lie in her heart. Is it about clothing? By their fruit, we shall know them. It's not in their clothing. It's in the content of what comes out of their mouth. Have you seen her? That's indeed the, that's indeed the, the principal. That's her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She gave me her words to leave the boy. I don't know I'm leaving him up to, unto death. You say I'm blackmailing you? Come and tell Nigeria how I blackmail you. Come and tell Nigeria how I blackmail you. I'm sure he's not the only victim. But some parents are, 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 have become English. They will not talk. Some parents are so English that they will not talk. They, 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 will, say, they will say, no, let it not go viral. You know, our children, you know, you know. I don't belong to you, no. Know. I'm living my life. That's indeed it. That's indeed it. I was the one that told you that I have done a live broadcast. I was the one that sent a message to her that I have done a live broadcast on this. You now went and wrote, parents, we are thanking you for sending us the video, for getting us informed on this blackmail. I sent it to you. It's good you're shooting yourself in the leg. The WhatsApp I sent, the link I sent you is on my WhatsApp page. I sent it to you, Ndidi. I'm the sender, yeah? you did not see, get it. I said, I said, don't bother asking for my address. That I've taken the matter up. I'm blackmailing you how? Did I call you one-on-one -on -one and say, give me 10 million for me to keep quiet? I know why you want to come to my house. You want to come, treat him, give us some money. Then we can go to another school. So that you, you are, your school name will remain good. Someday you will be somebody who will not collect the money. You have met me today. If Nigerian government asks you to give me my school fee back, fine. But I'm talking about what has happened. I have not said I'm blackmailing you. I have not made a demand. Blackmail is where, Abby? What is blackmail? It's not when somebody make a demand. I have not made a demand. I'm only complaining what has gone through. In the last two months plus, my child has been in the school. I came to school, I told you before I pick before I pay for the bank draft, I told you, I said, my son wheeze. Okay, let me carry the food. I told you my son wheeze. Can I bring a marking torch? Eh? Can I bring a marking torch? You said no, that all your beds are covered. Shortly after I left, you took him to senior class. 
and you told me you took him there for him to be corrected and stop weed. Look at all his head, bruises. He came with sleeper. Why didn't you bab his hair? You didn't bab his hair because you don't want his swollen head shown. He looked like a prisoner in Deeper Life High School, owned by Kumui, owned by Pastor Kumui. And you said we should keep quiet for what not to happen, for getting not to happen. Let me go out of the car and go and see him. This woman should start going so that um, I take over from here. And, and you say I'm lying. Please, where is the food? I bought some water now. Let me let me go to the room and see him. That, that, that's why I said I will be doing live until I finish. Because I know they can say I, run, I, I, I bundled him to hospital without announcement. I'm going upstairs. Just came out. I'm going upstairs. I will not show the hospital again before they come and explode it. Thank you. I'm going to the room. Eh? You have a bad voice. My son did what? My son did what? So where is he now? Oh, but is he getting better? Okay, let me see him. Thank you. Thank you. Give the food. Why is he refusing them to set life for him? No. Going to the I'm going upstairs. You saw me talk to the nurses now. That one too is a lie. He's a black man. Julia. Nigeria. Good morning, nurse. How are you? I'm here to see my son. Thank you. Like me, my malnutrition child. Look at him. I know I'm not rich. I know I'm not to do my man way, but I'm, I've never begged anybody for food. Look up, my dear. Look, look up very well. Look at his neck. Look at him. Did he look at my boy? Please give me his picture when he went to school. Look at him. Look at the child I sent to school. He came back a skeleton. And they told me I'm blackmailing Kumui. Why should I blackmail Kumui? Am I your member? Am I eating from you? Look at me. I sent him to school. He came back with a broken anus. And you're telling me I'm, I'm blackmailing you. Look at him. Look here. Does this boy look healthy to you? Does he look like somebody who has been eating every day? Look, look at him when he enters school newly. This is him, his first day in school. Look at him the first day in school. Look at him after two months. Look at him after two months. And you wrote and said, I'm blackmailing you. It's only a fool that will see this and, and believe what you're about to write. This one will tell me the... Look at the boy I took to school. This is the day, the first day they entered school. 8th October. 8th October. Good morning. Please, um, I just quickly have to do this update now. I promise my friends and my fellow Nigerians that I will keep them updated in everything I'm doing concerning this Don Davis case. I said, I, I promise that I will keep people updated in all that I'm doing concerning as regards as this Don Davis case, I promise I will keep Nigerians updated as regard of this Don Davis case that is ongoing right now. Because anytime you don't see me update you on anything, understand that they have taken my phone from me. If you don't see me come on live to update you on what is happening, understand that my phone has been retrieved from me. Just this afternoon, my phones were retrieved from me. My phones were retrieved from me. So if you see me that things are going on, you don't get fact again, understand that my phones have been retrieved from me. Just this morning, we got a call from the PAMSEC 
saying that we should come with Don Davis to the Education uh, Commissioner for Education's office. We told them that Don Davis is not very okay to come out. They said the parents of the sad boys who are involved in what has happened to Don Davis are here. That we should come. We said Don Davis was moved to another. Please overlook my kids are in the car. We said Don Davis was moved to another hospital. So for that reason, he's taking the country. They said that we must bring him. Obeying the fact that the governor's investigation is going on, we brought him out. Pull him to the hospital. We don't have my kids. On getting to the commissioner of educational office, we entered. Deeper Life School Board were seated. Parents with their friends were seated. Just me and my husband and Don Davis with my two children in the car right now. We are seated. Before everybody, the Commissioner for Education turned to me and said, Why did I go on live broadcast? And go and say she went to see Don Davis around 11. Do I know that what that has done to her office? Do I know that America has, is watching? Why did I go on live broadcast? Go and go uh, and uh, 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 do what I did. That um, I'm putting the government's name at risk. I say, how? Everybody saw it that governor said the case should be investigated. What is putting government at risk here? She said I should take off the video now on social media. I said, excuse me, ma. Is that why you brought me here? You said I should bring Don Davis for questioning before the other students. Now you're attacking me before people. Did you bring me here to attack me? Did you indirectly use the Davis to bring me out for you to attack me? She said I should take off that video on the internet now. They collected my phones from me. A parent now stood up. I, ha I have their voice, everything recorded in another phone. I have their voice, everything recorded in another phone. They collected one of my phones from me, which is this one. Now, a parent now stood up and said, let's go to the reason why we are here. She sat down. She talked to me again. She said, is there any way I can take off that video of her? I said, madam, I will not allow you to intimidate me. You cannot bring me to this gathering and be doing this. Even if you want me, even if you want me to remove the, 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 the video on her, you can do it one on one. Not to talk to me before the congregation seated here. I disagree with you. You cannot mess me up that way. He said, do I know what that video has done to our office? I said, but is he a lie? Didn't you come to run an interview around 11 o'clock? Which one is it? What, what are we hiding here? What office are you keeping? They collected my phone from me. Then the, the parents said, Go, I will join you. Let me tell you just what is happening. So that if I die, they can tell stories. So a parent now said, let's continue with what we are doing. We continued. The woman now turned to Don Davis. Already now she is biased. She is biased over that video I put on Facebook. She turned to Don Davis. Don Davis, what did they do to you in your anus? I have the record here. Don Davis said they were putting hand. So Davis, what drug you taking? I stood up and said, Madam, excuse me. I, I said no to this investigation. Are we here to discuss drugs? Or we are here to discuss what is happening? A parent flared up that she will slap me in her presence. I have everything here. The man brought out his belt. That he will beat me up. I told him, Davis, stand up, let us go home. All of them in the commission or whatever stood up tall. You have everything you've been doing video. You are putting the government at risk. I say I have been a social media person not today. You cannot take it. Is it your data? Did you give me money to buy data? You don't have people to hear the truth. You want to tell them your own. They they started pushing me as you go, as you go. Push me and my children out of the office. They 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 insult me all until I came downstairs this afternoon. That's what is happening, you This is what has happened, you This is what has happened. At that point, I told her, she said, she told them not to worry. 
that she will take the running up. I said, I need you want to go and tell governor, go and tell him. But here is the truth. Here is the truth. You can go, I must not go. Here is the truth of what is happening. Anything you want to go and tell governor, go and tell him. Tell him that you push me out of your office. Don't forget to tell him that. Go and tell him anything you want to tell him. Tell governor that you asked me to remove the video I put on air. Is that why you brought me? You tricked me to bring my son for questioning. You started authorizing me to remove video I put on Facebook. Nigeria, my life is not safe, oh. My life is not safe, oh. My life is not safe. Maybe whatever they are doing should be in public now, not in, a, not, not in a secluded office again. My life is not safe. I have her own voice where she asked me to remove the video. I have honorable commission or whatever on voice where she asked me to remove the video. They have they, they collected my phone from me. They collected my phone from me. She never told me that she was going to attack me in the office. For doing video of her coming to talk to my son at 11 o'clock in the night. I got there, this woman started attacking me. Please, Honorable Commissioner, the first day you visited on Davis in school, in hospital, you brought him um, you brought in provision. If it's the provision that is making you do this, come and pack it, you have not opened it. Let truth stand. The first day you came to visit on Davis in the hospital, you brought him provision. We have now opened the provision. If it's the provision that is making you do this to me now, I have now opened it. Come and pack it. Come and pack it. You call me to bring my son for investigation. As not I'm walking, you said I'm attacking me. Now why did I go on live broadcast? I ask you a question. Is that why you brought me here? I ask you a question. Your 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 your, your investigation on that eleven o'clock will it end well? And I have promised Nigeria that I will keep them updated. I have promised that I will keep them updated. Why did you bring me to your office for me to be attacked? Why retrieve phone? What are we what are we hiding? Who is what what other evidence do you need? Did you see the boy the first day did, I did video? Did you hear from him? And I told her, Madam, this is you are calling me. I hope it's not going to be more than what we saw the other day. Why not have one on one with Don David, uh, with the children and their parents? Then have with us, join your results. None, none that this woman was tricking me to come to her office so that she will authorize me to remove the video I posted on social media. She tricked me. To bring my son. When I got there, she started attack attacking me on a post I did. I asked her, Mommy, is that why you called me? Did you come here to attack me? Did you come here to attack me on a post I did on, on Facebook? She started attacking me this afternoon. No. All of them was on me. All of them was on me. When I saw the way things were going, I had to tell them that I'm wearing camera. All of them, they would have destroyed all I had today. All of them, a parents brought out belts. A parent that they said her son molested my child brought out belts. Before the Honorable Commission of Education. Brought out belts. My husband went on him. You want to flog my wife? A parent that, that they accused molested brought out belts. I never come here. I say go, 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 go. So that's what happened, no? It's okay, kids. It's okay. Look, I have packed those things. You start cleaning them now. And with my children, I cannot leave them at home. We are not safe. I move every here and there with them. If I know that this honorable commission are calling me, so tell me to remove video and post, I won't have gone. But if I don't go, they will go and take over that I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't did come to, 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 their, to their meeting. One of the reasons why I'm coming here to do this is for the governor to hear my own voice too. Your commissioner, sir, said I should take off the video I put on social media. I asked her, 
Is that the reason for the meeting? Hmm? Is that the reason for the meeting? Yes. Deeper life is a bird. Hmm. I am a single body. I am a single body. But even at that, you cannot. You cannot. You have hit my car. You have just hit my car. Come and check before you go, please. You, are, you hit it, you're supposed to wait and correct it. You're not supposed to drive away. I packed here, you just hit my car. Come, let's check. Come and check, you have broken my glasses. I'm, I'm in the environment. Oh. I'm in the environment. You just hit my class, sir. But you should have stopped and said this is it. Sorry, ma. You don't Sorry, just drive I away. Didn't, I didn't drive. I had your back back. No, you didn't pack. You were going, sir. No, Sorry. I wanted to. Sorry, eh? Sorry. It's not a big deal, but it's a thing. Sorry can do. Please. Sorry. I went ahead. No Sorry. problem, ma. Yeah. You see, Sorry now have sorted Sorry. things. Sorry. Sorry is powerful. I know. Sorry is good in anything. God bless you, sir. Eh? <laughs> Thank you for settling it. But at least sorry has ended it. Have a nice day, sir. Happy Sunday. I will clean it up. It's something that something can clean up. That you hit my car and, and drive away because I'm in honorable commission. So that's what happened, my people. That's what happened, no? That is what happened. She invited me to come with my son for questioning. My son for questioning, not me. When I got the honorable commissioner, say I should um, remove the video I put on Facebook. That do I know what that has done to her office? Please, did I did I did I mention did, did, what the video is on air? What did that video do to her office? Why did I tell public that she came eleven o'clock? Honorable commissioner, with all due respect, what time did you come? What time did you come to do interview for a boy that is sick? Is it not eleven o'clock in the night? <laughs> Which one is lies here? You trick me to your office for me to remove video. And I'm doing another one to tell Nigeria what is happening. Nigeria, I'm not safe. Oh. If after the video, they, I'm going and they do me, boy, I die. Let this tree have what kill me. Let this, my last voice, have what kill me. This is what's happened oh, this afternoon. This is what happened. Oh. Nigeria, this is what happened. Oh. They call on my phone for me. She said she took out the video I put on air. All of that was on me. She said she took out the video I put on air. That I'm putting her office and the government in a mess. Honorable Commissioner, did I lie on you? Didn't you come to the office till 11 o'clock? Is it a lie? Is it a lie? Why did you trick me to your office for me to be bullied? Why did you trick me to your office for me to be bullied? You trick me to your office and to bring my son for questioning. I got it. It's not a, it's not a question in my video I did on Facebook. It's not my data I use it during the video. It's not my data I use it during the video. It's your data. <coughs> 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 What is democracy? What is democracy? What is democracy? Honorable Minister, what is democracy? You asked me to bring my son. You are tricking, you tricked me to your office just to make me remove a video I posted. You collected all I came with. Governor said you to do investigation. Why are you being biased? Why are you putting words in the boy's mouth? Why did you come to do investigation at 11 o'clock? Let me die on the truth. You asked me to bring my son for questioning. I brought my son. You left my son. He's not asking for, for me to remove a video I put on air. I have done another one on air. Come and kill me. I have done another one on air. I'm not from Akwa Ibo. I'm an Ibo. I have done another one on air. Come and kill me. Come and kill me. Send your police to kill me. I don't have any police to fight for me. But I will tell people what has happened. Look at my children. I, I, can't, I don't have a place to stay again. Why are you threatening me? What have I done? Why do you want the video I did? Why do you want to take it off? The way you people took off the number you can't take it off that way. Nigeria, share the video. Share the video. Oh, you both come to my head, though. Come to my head, though. 
You call me to play my stuff for questioning. I put the boy from hospital just to respect the governor. I got there. You are telling me to take off the video I put on there. I know you are here. You are watching. Do I have a problem with you? If it's the boy and Milo you brought, come and carry it. I'm not open it. If it's the boy and Milo you brought to the hospital, come and carry it. I'm not open it. I'm not open your boy Vita. Don't intimidate me. Don't intimidate me. Come and carry it. Your biscuit is there. Your bovita is there. Your milk is there. Come and carry it. I'm not open it. I have not open it. Come and carry it. Don't intimidate me, I beg. Don't intimidate me, oh. Don't intimidate me. Don't intimidate me, ma. Do your job. Don't intimidate me. Don't question me. I'm an adult. Don't ask me to remove what the post I make. I, I am not safe. I need security. I am not safe. I need security. Thank you, everybody. I just let me come and tell you for the update. Oh. I said, let me come and tell you for the update. Oh. They call me and my son to come for questioning. Only for this to happen. I said, let me give you the update of what has happened. I went along with my family. They were in multitude. All of them was on me. It was until when I said my, my, I had camera on me, they would have beaten me up. One of the parents brought out belt. Brought out belt, my husband had to attack him. In the honorable commissioner office. They brought me for my son to be questioned. Meanwhile, I was the one that was bullied. Ha! I said, let me update you, Nigeria. So, honorable commissioner asked me to bring myself for questioning. When I got there, he said, remove the post I make. He said, remove the post I make. Nigeria, see you. See you. If I have not gone to that place now, they will go and tell governor that I did not honor them. I honor now. He lived on Davis and she's questioning me. Okay. Thank you very much, all. Yes, I am connected. Yes, the traffic is much heavy. Good morning, viewers. Good morning my friends on Facebook. I trust we all rested well yesterday. Before I go into much talk this morning, I want to clear something. I did not come on air. It's not my first time coming on air. And I did not just wake up and come on air because of Deeper Life High School. Good morning, ma. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Doris Uche. Thank you. I did not wake up and just come on air. It's not my first time coming on air. So I want to correct um, a, a, an impression going on right now. Deeper Life High School. I did not come on air the first time. This is not my first time doing a live broadcast. Go and check my other profiles. You will see me. I have done several live broadcasts. Just that this one is something that touches me and has to do with me. And I try reaching out via your website, reporting this, the situation. You people removed it. That was what made me to come to social media. Again, before I came to social media, everything I sent to your principal, Didi Solomon, she never responded to any of my cry. These were the things that pushed me to social media. Because I noticed that I was alone and I was helpless. I, and I have promised Nigerians that I will keep them updated as the situation goes on. I would at all points keep them updated. From the day when I picked on Davis Archibong from school to when he go to hospital up to yesterday, I have been keeping my friends, my followers, updated on what is happening i have been doing that because right now what i understand now is that deeper life high school wants me to take off the video they want me to sorry they are, what is happening here they they want me to take off the video all the recording live i've done but the thing is that they are already taking it off by themselves the first, the very first video I, I did, if not that it has gone viral, they have taken it off air. Now, investigation team were put up when I cried out on the second time by the governor 
which I still respect his decision because if I really respect what he has done so far as a governor and a parent, he asked an investigative team to go out and see what has happened. I came yesterday and thanked him and thanked the investigative team. But at this point, I disagree with the investigation going on right now. I am here to say no to the investigation going on right now. I am not pleased with what is going on. Here are what I am here to uh, 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 um, say. Yes, um, day before yesterday, from the Commissioner of Education's office, we got a call, myself and my husband, that they want to have one-on-one -on -one -on -one talk with us. And there we opt, we ask, can we come with our lawyer or at least a witness? She said, no, it's not a serious thing. That she they just want to have one-on-one -on -one with me and my husband. We respected that. We went yesterday. As at the time we got there, they were in prayer section. We went and came back around 12 again. Then we sat with the commissioner and about um, some other boards of um, directors. When we sat with them, after much everything, they now suggested that they want to bring the deeper life um, principal and vice principal, Akpan and the other guy that was involved in this um, whole saga. That it would be by four o'clock. We left. By four o'clock, innocently, we came back, I and my husband. On getting there, we saw that um, Deeper Life came in a team. A team of, I don't just know, they came in a team. They came with the whole of Deeper Life board of whatever. One of the women that introduced herself there said she's coming from another secondary school. At that point, my husband stood up. Let's buy bread. My husband stood up and said, But you said we shouldn't come with our lawyer or come with anybody. These people have come here with a whole team. All these whole people against just I and my wife. You didn't allow us to come with our own persons. They say, no, it doesn't matter. That that's how they work. They work in a team. They, that was not counter that they should go out. Let it be just the persons that are directly involved. Another principal from another high school who said she started Deeper Life High School in New York was on ground. We continued the investigation. And they continued the investigation. They asked me what happened. And I said exactly what I said in video the first day I was here. Because when, I, when they came in, they now brought out a um, 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 camera, phone and everything. I too put on my phone. Everything I'm saying here, we are dubbed. Everything that happened there, we are dubbed until the phone went off. So I told, I told them what I encountered before picking Don Davis and after I've picked Don Davis. Talking about my son being molested in the school. Talking about Alpan flogging my son and some other students with belts on the head. Which I have one or two things to show for it. All his head signs are there that he was flogged with belts on his head. After everything, they asked, the, the one other man stood up and said he is um, wanting one thing to Deeper Life High School. That uh, he was with the governor. When he saw the thing went on air, he excused himself from the governor and went to find out what was happening. That Deeper Life High School is known for uh, holiness, righteousness, and all those things they were quoting. After that, they asked Ndidi, the principal of Deeper Life High School, to narrate what has happened. Ndidi narrated and said, When Don Davis, I quote her, because I have her voice, I can play it if need be. Ndidi narrated and said, When Don Davis was brought to school, that he was brought sick, that before I bought the form, I called her, that she's not sure of the number. There are two numbers that called her. She's not sure of the number. That I called her and said that my son is sick. My son is bedridden. My son has HIV. My son is on drugs. 
and that is not my biological son. So that she now admitted Don Davis in school, and since she admitted Don Davis, she has been the one packing her poo poo, she has been the one feeding him, she has been the one baiting him, she has been the one giving him drugs. When she finished saying that, I now said I want to ask a question. I said, you admitted a son that was sick, bedridden and pulling. You admitted her. I said, yes. I said, what is the name of the drug I ask you to administer to the drug, to the child? Nobody, they, 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 all of them said, no, no, let's not go there. Let's not. I said, no. Because they have already gone on national radio to say this same thing. They went on road, live broadcast to say all these things. And that, we, are, we are trying to resolve something. We must resolve it based on truth. I ask a simple question. What is the name of the drug I gave you to give to Don Davis? He said, uh, because of the way he saw the boy, she pitied the boy, she did not um, take down the name of the drugs. I said to her, you mean you in, in, in brought in a, such a, after COVID, such a boy against other children's health? And you decided to have a special interest to take care of the child without taking note of things. She said, yes, that was it. That she just took a special interest. That was how the boy was from the day one. He came to school. And that's how it has been. He has been. Then they said I shouldn't ask more questions. I kept quiet. They call on the, uh, the man stood up. Uh, they call on Akpan, the house master. Akpan, house master said, that um, he has never beaten any child in deeper life before. That he plays with them, he wash clothes for them, he does this for them, he does that for them. My husband now said, if I prove to you here that you have beaten a child before, what would you do? He said, sir, I swear to God, my reward is in heaven. I have never beaten any child in deeper life high school before. At that point, my husband now said to her, him, Listen to this voice. After listening to the voice, he owned up and said, Yes, it's a rubber belt. He uses flogging their head. Then, you, as you see, eh, even if at the end of the day, eh, I don't say, um, I, I don't, uh, the truth is hidden. Eh? One thing I'm happy of is that I was not stupid in the whole thing. It was at that point my husband said, listen to this voice. That he now said, eh, he wasn't, I have all this voice. He wasn't um, serious belt. He's a rubber belt. He using hitting them on the head. Like five or six strokes of belt. I ask again, on the day they closed, did Don Davis eat? He said, yes, he said he saw him, he came. He has not eaten. Because he said, um, um, uh, he got there, food has finished. Now, and I said to Ndidi, principal, I said, Ndidi, I would put up myself for a DNA test because I need Don Davis to know who is his mom. Don Davis was in the hospital when he overheard it in radio that one of your people, your deeper life people, went to represent you people on radio trying to interrupt me as so I, I ended it. Don Davis, when I came in, Don Davis said to me, Mommy, the radio, they have talked about me on radio. Mommy, but they said you're not my mother. So I need to clear that airways. They said that's the truth. I want a DNA test on me showing who is the real parent of Don Davis. Since indeed they have known him 10 years ago that I was giving birth to. I don't know why we will sit in such a gathering. We are leaving the thing we should talk, talk about, which is molestation in school. Going into areas, diverting attentions, and there are authorities seated. At the end of the day, around after 10 to 11, the authorities seated said they want to go and interview Don Davis in the hospital. 11 in the night. That I, I will stay outside. They want to have one on one. Interview with Don Davis. I told them it's not done anywhere. The boy is on sick bed. Eleven o'clock. He should be sleeping. 
You cannot interview him with sleeping eye. They say, hey, this thing I'm doing, going on social media, talking. I am this, I am, I am, I am, I am spoiling the boy's future. I am, I am, I am not helping the boy. I, that, um, the, 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 that, the, that the governor needs reports of this whole thing and they must get reports to him. I say, you, would you get report on lies? Would you take facts to the governor? Would you take lies to the governor? Would you establish facts? How do you want us to take sorry on lies? On national radio, Ndidi has said that, Ndidi representative said, the boy came sick. We need to prove that. They have said that he am not the mother. We need to do a DNA conducted. You can't put that in his head and ask for peace. You are coming inside to need that and ask for peace, but you are going on radio to say something else. Who does that? Who does that? You are conducting an interview with a, 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 a minor without, their, without his or her parents. How am I sure that you will not put words into his mouth? At 11 p.m.? Who does that? You can even tell me, sit down and back him. Let me hear the question you are asking. You don't keep me outside and say, at, at 11 o'clock, you want to go and conduct interview. You need to give governor report. You need to give governor report. You want to just cook up something and go and give? You will give him facts. The, man, the, 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 the governor of my state, which is a, who is a father, wants facts. He doesn't want something that was done in a hurry. You say ESCO meeting will sit on, on, on Tuesday. ESCO will sit on Tuesday. You need something to take. Would you take lies to ESCO? Won't you take fat to ESCO meeting? It won't it be better you tell the, uh, our father, who is the governor, that daddy, we could not conclude the, this based on this, this, that. Not to rush everything and take away, then close the case. Who does that? Right now, I'm not safe. Because Deeper Life said that the radio broadcast was not from them. That they don't know the man that came to do broadcast. Deeper Life High School said they are not aware of any radio broadcast. That they, did not, that they, they don't know Don Davis to be a sick person. The man that said he was with the governor, I don't know his name, one short man with big tummy. He said Deeper Life never sent anybody on radio to talk. Let's, let, 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 even if you people kill me, kill me on truth. I'm even tired. Let me die on truth. Don't kill me on lies. Because if you, you want to make peace, would you make peace based on lies? Would you, would you cook lies and use it to make peace? I have him on voice. The man said that whoever has gone on radio to talk on behalf of Deeper Life is not a member. I said, but the man talk what your principal is talking now. Pastor Israel Omana, talk what your principal is talking now. Why are you people doing this? You are begging inside, you are destroying the image of the boy outside. I said, who, my other now asked, who is Pastor Israel Omana? One other man of God among them stood up and said, I had the broadcast and I know him is a member. This other short man, shut him up. He didn't allow him to talk again till we left the panel. I'm not okay with the interview. I am not okay with the interview conducted. There is no need for a rush. There is no need going to talk to a minor of minutes to 12 when he has slept. He will use sleep eye and be asking question. There is no need for that. And I want to say something here. The, most of them here, the, most of them on this live broadcast now, Deeper Life members are here. They are the ones writing contrary things. Let's not be deceived. I had it in the panel. Then another thing. Do, do you, in course of conducting this um, uh, investigation, their doctor was on seat yesterday night. And to the glory of God, he made no sense of himself. I have him on voice. Because when they brought out their camera, I was quietly recording. So that they would not deny me. The man said, when he stood up, when he was asked to talk at the long run, he said that Deeper Life sent him to the hospital where my son is. Because I saw him maxed up, came in. And I was like, I tackled him. I said, you are from Deeper Life. He said, no, that is presenting this hospital. But yesterday, we got to know that Deeper Life sent him to go and conduct a test on that boy. 
which we are telling the officer that they are biased. Because also he told us that he's a specialist that came from somewhere. But yesterday, we got to know that Deeper Life sent him to go and take sample of that boy in the hospital. Meanwhile, the hospital told us he is a specialist from them. What is going on? What are we hiding? Who didn't see the boy on the first day? How can you wake up and say he can't eat from the day they brought him in? What, what, what money are you looking for that will make you admit a bedridden, a bedridden and poo-pooing boy on the first day? The first day he came to school he was bedridden. He was pooing on his body. You admitted him. Is deeper like that broke? Because even in my business place, there are things I wouldn't welcome. No matter how broke, he said I'll go and collect a loan. I, I, you say he can't eat alone? Give me a video of where he was eating. Don Davis is 11 years old. Don Davis bet the twins. Don Davis can cook in Domi. All these things I'm saying, put him, give him sausage, give him tomatoes, and watch him cook in Domi for you. I don't raise a child that cannot help me in the kitchen. Let me play Don Davis eating. Okay. Let me play him eat. Okay, eat. What are you eating? Or do you want somebody to assist you to feed you? Mm. Okay. Okay, eat, let me see. What are you eating? Mm -hmm. eh? Indomie and what? Bread, bread. Okay, bread and egg. Okay, why are you asking? Did anybody feed you at any point in time? Did somebody ever uh, feed you? Were you able to eat your, your, or did your teacher at any point feed you or one of the senior students? <laughs> but it's laughable. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No. So nobody has ever fed you while you were in school? No. no. Okay, so enjoy your meal. What about it? Can you take yourself? Alright. Thank you so much. Alright. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. That's the boy that cannot talk. That cannot feed himself. He, I brought him bedridden. I brought him with poo all over him. You collected him. Look at what the principal is saying. In fact, Kumu, you, look, look at who you employed, for God's sake. I brought him bedridden. I brought him pooing. And I gave you a whole lot of drugs. You didn't even consider other students. You admitted him with such hairment. You started packing it. You assigned him. You said you assigned him. He assigned him to Akman. Akman will carry him to go and sleep. Akman will carry him to go and bathe. So when does he read? Akman will carry him to go and poo. Akman will carry him to go and bathe. Other senior will help clean his anus. He's a VIP indeed in deeper life. He's a VIP. Thank you, I will. He's a VIP indeed in deeper life. I brought him, he's not my child. I want a DNN on me. Do all those things you have claimed, bring them to, to this thing. Don Davis came to school with malaria tablets. Because I understand that a time is three months. We treat, we, we, we treat um, 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 one medicine, we give them one medicine every three months. He came with some paracetamol, some this, some that. Because they said they don't have hospital facility for now. When I was questioning them, they said they only have a nurse who can help administer us uh, drugs. And when I brought those that drug, I signed paracetamol and other drugs, like when it's hot or something, other drugs. I signed for him. I signed for him, one medicine, um, uh, malaria medicine, and all um, blood tonic. I signed. They said I should sign. I signed. I said they will go and add more to his file. Because at this point, anything is possible. I signed for those things. And I understand I'm not the only parents that signed. Now, the man that went on radio, for those who are doing radio, for the man who took his interview, here and here well, they said that man you took his interview is not from Deeper Life. I have his voice here. They said the man you did interview from is not from Deeper Life. The man who came to take, talk how he was the sick, how he was everything, that is not from Deeper Life. Now, at the end of the day, before they proceeded to the hospital, some minutes to 12, to 11, the, the man now said, Madam, at this junction, the man that went to the air 
to talk about Don Davis' illness, hold him responsible outside deeper life. Ndidi, talking about drugs, talking about you not being the parents of the child, hold her responsible. Deeper life did not send them. People, imagine. Imagine. Do you want to talk? <clears throat> imagine. Just imagine. The man who said he was with the governor the day he saw the video. He claimed he's always, always going out with the governor. Maybe he wants to intimidate me. We are all humans. The man said that, Madam, at this junction, the man that went to air eh, to talk about your, 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 your child illness is not a member of Deeper Life. We don't know him. Hold him responsible. Deeper Life did not send him. Deeper Life don't go on national broadcast. Deeper Life don't do all those things. Deeper Life is only known for holiness and righteousness. Then, uh, uh, um, Ndidi, that is, talk, that is leaving the issue of molestation and talking about your son, illness, how he's not your child. Deeper Life did not send her that one. She has already been expelled. Hold her responsible. Do you see what's happening? They are not shifting away from... But you, when she was narrating, you were concurring. I have him on live. You were concurring. But um, at the end of the day, now you are now separating them. You are standing on your own. I don't think that the governor of my state will say, go and take do investigation and ask you to be in a hurry to bring results. Investigation can take another one week, two weeks. Gradually things are done. Some other parties call to come and talk. Not that you will be saying things like, we need to drop reports. We need to drop reports. So because you want to drop reports, you want to just pack everything and go and drop. I can, if, I, if I can reach the governor one-on-one -on -one this morning, I won't come on air. But I can't reach him. So I need my voice to be heard. That was why I came back to say it here. That's why I came back to this media. Because it was this media I was able to reach some, dig some important personals in deeper life. Is this media the governor heard my voice? That's why I'm coming back to this media to say investigation shouldn't be because you are going for an ESCO meeting on Tuesday, you need to drop something. You need to drop something. So for that reason, you just pack everything and go. Then you I want us to die things down. No, it's a gradual process. Investigation team shouldn't come and tell me, I saw you eyeing your son. Was I not the one that did the live at the first time? Was I not the one that asked him to talk? Nigerians are hearing you. Why, why, why would I come back to eye him and tell him? He's even a child, you don't tell such a thing. When you tell him, uh, um, hey, he will mess you up. So let him stay with what he knows. The woman came there, was countering me. That I came in, I have eyed the boy. How can you be doing, taking, uh, uh, um, taking, uh, asking a, a minor question and asking the parents to stay outside? Other teams are inside. Then, then, then you're asking a, a, a minor question at the, after 11. What are we rushing for? Where are we rushing to? So please, I am not okay with the investigation going on. I am not okay with the investigation going on. I am not okay with the investigation going on. As simple as that. In the beginning, it started well. But from what I saw yesterday, I am not okay. I am not okay. If, you, if they want to say, okay, I don't want this thing to be heard again, let it die down. Let, let me know that they, they, they key the case. But not that you will just come and, and paparazzi us into something. And, and the man that said he was, he's always with the governor was telling me, go and take off those things on social media. Go and take off those things on social Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me to take it off? That's where my voice was heard. And I have always said it here that it's not my first time coming on live social media. This is a miss where I do my business. This is a miss where I sell my product. And if something goes wrong along the line, I will also bring it to this place. Why, why would somebody want to just um, shut me off like that? Because I, I don't have a voice. You can't just come and shut me off like that. Allow me. Allow the investigation to take a due process. Let people see process by don't rush me. What is the man's name? Pastor Nicholas Akarika. 
the, the man that said he was with governor, I be with governor, I be with governor, I was, I was with governor. When the case came, I was calling governor as if he wants to intimidate me. His name is Pastor Nicholas Akareka. Asking me to take up this thing off social media. Why would I take it? I promised Nigerians I'll, I'll keep them updated. No journalist or anybody will give the right update more than me. And that's what I'm doing. I may not have a die, but allow me. Don't rush anything, please. This is how far things have gone this morning. As I said, between yesterday morning to yesterday evening. And I am coming on live broadcast because I don't know the report they will go and drop. And my, I, I cannot see the governor one-on-one. -on -one. This is the only media I know when he's uh, having his uh, leisure time, he can listen to this thing. And with the way he came and said, let investigation go on, I believe he's a man that listens to everything that goes on. That's why I rushed down here this morning to tell him my own side of the investigation that I didn't like. At some point, the minister for something, something, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know these things. One of them there says, was doing something that I don't like. It's just like, for instance, you asking a question, say, deeper life, uh, you know, this thing is white. Now, did you put lipstick for you to have a little bit of red? I don't like such questions. You don't ask such comic questions. Like, you come and tell somebody, uh, this thing is blue. Now, did you put white here so that when they show it, it will have a little bit of white and black? You want him to say yes. I don't like such thing, please. Nobody is a baby here. They came in multitude. I and my husband alone was there. Which bridged the whole thing. When we were coming, we told you we are coming with our lawyers. You said no. But they came with multitude. Eh? Please, let's, let, let, let's do things right. If you don't want the investigation to go on peacefully, you can sweep it under the carpet. Let God judge. But not to come and present something else. The man that went to radio to talk, they said he's not a deeper life member. One of them that is truly born again said it there that he saw the the the, the, the broadcast that is that the guy is from uh, 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 deeper life pastor nicholas did not allow him to talk again till we left every time he tried to talk he never allowed him to talk maybe that one has seen that his race is with christ he doesn't want to rot in hell well, at the end of the day he didn't allow him to talk is it not you people that say nobody is above the law? So why is it going this way? Why send the doctor behind to go and take a test? And the doctor of the hospital allow such? Why? I'm taking my child out this morning. I'm taking him out. Let God fight. In all, I've been calling God. Don't go and present for because the governor can is too is too busy. He cannot leave what he's doing and come and be going to do tests. Don't go and present wrong thing to him. That's why I'm coming here. You want to, you want to, you want me, you want me to resolve amicably. Deeper life, uh, uh, Mr. Nicholas is saying, please, how can we resolve? How can we reach out with medical bills and all that? You want me to resolve amicably. But on radio, you have got to call him a sickler. On radio, you have got to broadcast, I'm not the mother. And, and whatever it is, I've been heard. How do you correct that? How do you correct that without giving him something? How do you correct that? How do you correct that? You are coming inside. All of you came and need and you are begging. But on radio, you are doing something else. What are, what are you preaching? What are you preaching? You are doing something else on radio. You are, you are, you are doing something else inside. On radio, you have gone to say, he's not my child. That I didn't give birth to him. Because I want to know. Because of the truth, the boy I receive is not looking like my child. My child is plumpy, chubby. Very chubby, with, very chubby. When he passes, you will love him. He has sweet legs. The skeleton you give me is not my child. I need to, I need DNA to know. As in the day I have said it, and it has been said on radio that I'm not the mother. That he's sick, very sick. I want all this thing conducted. I want all these things to be brought to book. Since we have left molestation, let's tackle that one. Then we come back to molestation. Well, you want to push me around. You want to toss me around and make me go mad. God forbid. 
Even if it's shut up, even if the nothing is head of again, at least one thing is that I fought to this point. I fought to this point. I fought, I know authorities can say, let I don't, we don't want to see on social media again. Block her, remove her name, let her not go on air. But I fought to this point. You can call Facebook, remove the video, we tell you what you have. I fought to this point. History have it that I fought to the point where you folded the truth. Thank you, House. Like I said, I will keep updating us until it comes to an end. I will keep updating Nigerians until this whole thing comes to an end. If you see any nonsense comments here, it is from Deeper Life. One of them there said, I stylishly called you, the woman that came from my, uh, which other school, Calabar. I was one, I stylishly, she is here commenting. If you see any comment that is not right, it's from them, they are, they are all over. I don't have a church, I don't have a voice, but I have a God. I have a God that oversee all of us. I have a God that oversees all of us. From the day one of this case, I have said I will update Nigerians. And I will update them all to the end, except to shut me up. My life is being threatened. I, my life is being threatened. My life is being threatened. I'm not safe. As I speak, my babies are not in the house. I did, from what I saw yesterday, I didn't sleep in my house. My life is being threatened. My life is being threatened. I need backup. They want me to take off the video. They want to quietly settle me and, and let it end. That's not enough to threaten me, Nicholas. Telling me how you are with the governor, how you saw the video, how you told the governor you are coming. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. My life is being threatened, please. Nigeria, my life is being threatened. I am alone in this fight. They invited me and my husband alone, but they came in multitude. We wanted to go with the witness, they refused. The witnesses we called, that day the call was made, they are still, they are still around. My life is being threatened. We are not saved. We are not saved right now. With the way things are going. I, 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 was told, I didn't hear the radio broadcast, but I was told about it. And my son in the office who had it because there is radio. Now they said that man is not a Deeper Life member. That they don't know where he came out from and granted the interview. They said that in Didi, talking about health, Deeper Life did not send him that one. And they are not, look at, just look at how they are contradicting things. And somebody is in a hurry to go and drop reports. What are you dropping? Won't you drop facts? Why not it take you another two weeks to get facts? Why are you in a hurry to drop reports? Don't be in a hurry to drop reports. Not because you want to drop reports and begin to conduct interview on a minor, 11, 11, 13 to 12. What do you want to get? What is the report you want to drop? When you have, when everything has, have not, have not, we, we, we didn't come to a, a, anything on the table. How can you be talking of settlement when the the saying that I'm not the, the mother of the child, and 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 the honourable commissioner did not even say why this statement. Let's tackle this statement. I didn't see any voice for me. Too many things are 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 yesterday. I don't know. Share this because I know it will go off air right now. If you can, share it. Kindly share this because it will go off air. You won't see this broadcast again. If you can, kindly, kindly repost it, share it so that we will have some. You won't see it. All the video I've done, I hardly see them now. So please kindly share this. You won't see it again. You won't see this again. But in anything we are doing in life, in anything you are doing, whether you are you are in, you are in government oh, and the, past, the man in question is your pastor, remember there is a God that is above pastor. It's just that people don't read scripture. You are little God. I am a little God. You are a little God. There is no miracle pastor does you cannot do. It's just that you have carried, we have learned to carry all our life and put on, on, on pastors. They not make them, a, 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 I don't know. I am a little God. If I believe in Jesus and do his will, I can cast out demon. 
I can say to this mountain, be you removed and this one bring here. I stay in my house and command things to happen, it happen because I am in the right track with Christ. Don't because of one person is your pastor and come and be living a wrong life. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you die alone and you are accountable alone. They will not call one pastor to attach to you to account for anything. Stop these things you are doing. Injustice is not good. Thank you, everyone. This is the update I said, let me give. So that my governor will hear that the... the the investigation is not okay with me. They are in a hurry to take out reports and go for ESCO meeting on Tuesday. I don't like the investigation the way it's going. Step by step is the order of things, not rushing into things. You wanted to have one-on-one -on -one with me and my husband, it should have just been me and my husband. It's not after everything, you tell us to wait, let's bring principal. From principal, you bring a whole co coastal bus, brought the whole people. For what? No. And there was no point, they said, you go out, you go out. These are the people who want to see. At least I see discipline in place. I didn't see any of that. So it was not okay with me. But if our daddy governor says it's okay with him, it's okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good morning.